Well, happy 4th of July. Uh, this is a, a day for American celebration, a day for American pride, a day in which uh, Americans can reflect both on elements of the good fortune that they've had in their society over the hundreds of years of the existence of the United States and also real achievement for the world's leading nation. So as very hard-working American families go to briefly contemplate life in a relaxed atmosphere, there's much to be proud of and much to feel distinguished about. We have come to appreciate the United States as great partners for us in our moment of struggle for survival during the Second World War and in many conflicts since that point of time in which issues of human freedom have been at stake. We are strong allies of yours. We are growing closer. We are engaged in common purposes in the region of the globe that you now define as your location of high priority engagement. We Australians are in the southern tier of the geographic zone, which is the uh, object of your shift to focus on American Asia Pacific policy. We're going to have a lot more things to do together. Uh, we've got a lot of issues that we need to work our way through. But one thing that we know underpins it all, and that is respect. The enormous respect that you have shown us over the years, and the enormous respect that we have shown you in the United States. And what better point of time in the calendar to acknowledge that in this great day of American celebration of American independence and freedom.